हे ऑल वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू माय यूट्यूब क्लास गाइस आई एम मंजीत रावत योर ऑनलाइन इंस्ट्रक्टर दिस इज अनदर सेशन ऑफ एडवांस माइक्रोसॉफ्ट 365 कोर्स एंड इन दिस क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू हेल्प यू टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डोमेन सेटिंग इन प्रीवियस क्लास क्लास ऑफ एडवांस माइक्रोसॉफ्ट थ्री कोर्स वी टॉक अबाउट हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट द रूल्स एंड मैनेज द पॉलिसीज विद द हेल्प ऑफ एक्सचेंज एडमिन सेंटर so this time i'm going to help you to understand about the remote domain settings and about the default domain setting so let's move ourselves to the portal and try to understand about the implementation process as well as we'll talk about the concept why it is important for office 365 administrator so let's move ourselves but before that if you are new on my youtube channel if you are watching my video first time so please do subscribe because teach me cloud is a single technical training based youtube channel that you view 100% live practical based videos without skip any step so this is our 365 page and i'm just going to open admin center and in the admin center our responsibility to open the exchange admin center you know that multiple dashboard available on office 365 portal so let me click on exchange it will redirect you on the page of exchange admin center we have already discussed about the mailboxes and we are trying to understand about the features which are available in the mail flow so in the mail flow last topic we talked about the rules and this time we are going to cover uh, uh remote domain setting and accepted domain setting okay so first of all let me help you to understand about the concept of remote domains guys i hope you are aware about the meaning of domain so domain in the sense you can say that uh, it's a type of uh, protocol it's a type of service that help us to resolve the name right whenever you send the email or whenever you receive the email your user or recipient associated with the particular or specific name the specific name of our recipient which is uh, of our recipient which is considered as a dns and now if we talk about as per the name suggest remote domains the meaning of remote domains you know that the number of millions of domains are available in the uh, over internet you can say that are in the market millions of uh, domain names are available now the meaning to set up our remote domains if you want to manage your email services according to your requirement like as you want to set up the out of office message you want to set up the automatic reply or you want to block the access of emails from a selected domain or you want to make it white list of any domain or black list of any domain so you must need to configure with the help of add remote domain setting by default in the panel of remote do domain setting we are able to find default and uh, the name of domain is uh, star or asterisk you can say that it means that whenever we talk about the default domain or or uh, star domain or asterisk domain which is applicable for all the domains which are available in the market in the world it means that your current setting is you uh, automatically uh, the current set according to the current setting we are able to access the emails from any email id email uh, any email from the any domain controller if we talk about the settings which are available in this particular default id or default domain we just need to click here it will redirect you on the page of properties and under the properties let me help you to understand about the meaning of this particular default domain environment whenever we click on the edit it will give us a option you can rename your edit uh, you, you can edit or rename your existing domain name which is default domain name email reply types what are the settings you have already configured for this particular default domain allow only external out of office reply allow automatic replies allow automatic forwarding and uh, in case of message reporting allow delivery report allow non delivery report not allow meeting forwarded notification right if we talk about the use rich text of format and follow the user basically you configure the iso which is a western european method or western european text these two different method which is applicable to access the emails from any kind of text 
do you want to make any changes you just need to click here what setting you want to configure i don't want to authorize any out of uh, organization email id to get a automatic reply out of office so these all are the settings that you need to configure for the every domains or we have another method you need to add your own domain to set up these types of settings so i don't want to make any changes with our existing domain or default domain because i am planning to set up my own domain click on add a domain and type the name of your domain like as a uh, uh, test client this is the name and which types of domain you want to configure manually so like i wanted to configure the mail for gmail.com this is the external email id or you can say that this is the uh, uh, client mail id next what types of setting you want to configure out of office automatic reply types do you want to share this out of office message to the external email the gmail allow only external out of office mail reply allow internal out of office email reply according to the requirement you can configure from automatic replies allow automatic replies allow automatic forward according to the requirement you can configure with that next this is the message reporting as per the name suggests the message reporting in this particular option you can configure your external domain mail id according to the requirement like you want to set up a allow delivery report allow non delivery report allow meeting forwarded notifications so you just need to check mark here next and this is the panel where we can find the uh, uh, format of our email means if you allow follow the user setting so you need to configure the user setting which types of uh, uh, text you want to accept because you are selecting according to your requirement you can n number of formats are available so you can proceed with according to the requirement right or you want to allow for the every format so you just need to click on the always correct so this is the method that you can use to configure our external email id no need to do anything next next and finish so the default domain that help us to set up a uh, the settings for the entire emails means entire domains which are available in the market but if you want to set up according to your requirement you just need to provide the name of your selected uh, external domain name this is the work of remote domain so if you want to check and identify how it can work how, how it can perform the task so you just need to create few uh, recipient you just need to create few recipient in this particular account and try to access the email from the another recipient which is associated with gmail.com and set up some uh, automatic reply like out of office and automatic reply you can put some text in the automatic reply icon and you will get the same detail in the gmail account second option is accepted domain as per the name such as the meaning of accepted domain it will give you the information or details about the number of domains that you have already configured with this account so in this account we are able to find teachme cloud 389.onmicrosoft.com teachme cloud 389.mail.onmicrosoft.com right which are default and authoritative domain authoritative domain in the sense the domain which are directly associated with your tenant teachme cloud.net this is the default domain or you can say that uh, the common domain that you can used to create our any user in our 365 panel so this is accepted domain accepted domain the meaning of accepted domain means like as a, those domain are able to send the email by using the license or tenant of your office 365 portal so guys everyone i hope you all of you able to understand about the concept of uh, remote domain and accepted domain We'll talk about the connectors, alerts, policies, and uh, rules in upcoming session. So uh, that's it for today, and we'll connect tomorrow and discuss more about the Microsoft 365 services. Take care, guys. Bye bye, and do subscribe.